How's it going everybody? Back with more Lorcana. Time to officially get this master set for Rise of the Floodborne started. We got a whole case of booster boxes here. So there are four in there, a sealed case. That means we should be able to expect at least one enchanted out of it unless, you know, their pull rates have changed. So we'll be digging into that. Uh, I was able to also get another gift set. Big box here. And a set of starter decks and an Illumineer's Trove. So we will eventually be opening all of that stuff on the channel as well, except maybe the starter decks. I'll probably hold those back for some giveaways if I can't find anything else to give away for you guys. I did want to shout out the store that I purchased all of this from. It's Bad Wolf Gaming in Berea, Kentucky. So I'm going to drop a link to them um, right here somewhere. And I'll also leave links in the description. Not sponsored or anything. I paid for all of this. But uh, he did not have to, you know, um, offer his very hot product here with Lorcana to the local community here in Kentucky for MSRP. And he did. So that was really cool. Uh, if he's got anything left, I wanted to leave a link to the website. Find him on Facebook. Send him a message. All that kind of good stuff. Uh, see if maybe you can get something if you're in the United States too. Uh, one extra thing I was able to pick up again, like I said, was some starter decks. So I will be giving this one away in this video to celebrate the uh, the release of Rise of the Floodborne here. So it's an Amber Sapphire deck. In order to win, all you have to do is uh, drop a comment, leave a like, and subscribe to the channel. And in about a week here, we will run a comment randomizer and pick a winner. I'll respond to you and we'll hook up over email and I will uh, send you your starter deck. This does have a pack in it, so you'll be able to open up a pack and maybe get started playing with somebody if you can find either the other starter deck or some more cards at your local card shop. So let's go ahead and rip into this booster box here very carefully because I don't want to slice the cards. Um, but... I'm pretty excited to open this up. I have seen everybody in my uh, local group posting their enchanted pulls and stuff like that. So I want to get our stuff opened up and start trading like we did before. So here's how the booster case comes. So we got four booster boxes here that we will pull out. We're only going to open up one in this video because I'm going to try after every booster box to uh, set up the binder and we can keep track uh, of how much we need for the master set with each uh, successive box or each successive set of product that we pull. So you can stay tuned to the end of the video for that. I will likely uh, put a little montage of maybe building the binder. Yeah, there we go. And this looks to be our, our lucky box here. This is, let's see if our enchanted is in this one. So hopefully we get an enchanted. Like I said, I, they could have changed that. It might not be one in every case like it was with the last set. I did see some people open up some cases that didn't have enchanteds in it uh, for the first chapter so I guess we could get unlucky and have a dud case let's check it out finally get this going I am very excited to get going with Floodborne I enjoyed I enjoyed the first chapter a lot so I'm sure this one will be good as well Open up the case, just, you know, you get one of each pack art there on top, and we will just start digging in. Let's put our set there for the spot of honor for anything we pull. If you saw the last video, you know, the packing card is the, uh, the Diver Mini, and we're just going to keep going. Um, the start of the pack is six common cards, one of each color. So good for, you know, building your decks or getting all the commons. They're pretty easy to get. And then you'll get three uncommons. And then we'll get two rare slots. So our first rare slot here is Mulan Reflecting. Floodborne Mulan. 
Our next rare is Gaston, another Floodborne, an Electrical Powerhouse. And our first foil slot is a nice, a super rare Cheshire Cat. So I'm not going to complain about that. Um, I would imagine that the pull rates for everything are the same, just because, you know, by the time they had set one printed and released, uh, you know, set two was already at the printers, so I doubt they changed much in between. Um, but let's dig into it there. I'll st I haven't seen a lot of this art, so I may stop just on commons, at least at first, until we, you know, see everything a couple times. Uh, and between all these booster boxes, we definitely will pull, you know, one of every common and uncommon for sure. So we've got in our first rare slot, Sleepy's Flute. And there we go. There is our first legendary Snow White Wellwisher. And our foil is just a common fidget. So let's sleeve our Snow White up. So we should, I imagine, still get four legendaries uh, per booster box. We'll see. I don't know how difficult Floodborne is going to be to get compared to uh, the first chapter. Um, you know, it's very possible that some of the player base and collector base has died down a little bit due to the difficulty in getting it. Um, but it's also possible that that's not the case. So Radigan is our very fir or is our first rare. Next is Kronk. Nice. And our foil is a queen. Common card. Regal Monarch. But so far, it does seem like uh, this was a bit of a cleaner release. I don't know if it's because there's more product available or if people just kind of know what to expect. So, um, you know, the people who go to League or whatever at their local card shops are getting the cards that they want um, and posting them and stuff like that. But it, it hasn't seemed, at least so far today, to be as difficult. Teeth and Ambitions is our first rare. And there we go. Already our second legendary with Sisu and a foil charge, just a common. So let's sleeve up Sisu here. I actually don't know. Um, I think the Archer Bell, right, is the is the legendary we want to pull as far as value goes. I'm not positive yet. You know, all the values are in flux. It's a cool card. <laughs> I love Ray. Very funny character. I think um, the voice actor is not so much in the good graces of Disney anymore. Uh, Prince John is our first rare. Second rare is Madame Mim. And our foil is a Fang Crossbow. Uncommon. So the cool thing about uh, opening up, you know, the set fresh, we've only opened up the four packs from that gift set so far, is that pretty much when you first start opening a new set, everything is something you need. So we're, it's, it's going to be a while before we start uh, getting tired of all the duplicates that we're pulling. First rare slot is Pack Tactics. Second is a Super Rare King Louie. And then we have a Foil Pinocchio, Talkative Puppet. So we have a lot of work to do ahead of us sorting and building the binder. But it'll make it a lot easier as we go on opening up others later on. It's a cool cast on. All right. Oops, I went right past the rare slot, sorry. First rare slot is the Huntsman. Second is a super rare Grandpappy. And Li Shang foil. So I don't expect to pull very many duplicate foils at all, just because, um, you know, with 204 unique foils and only one per pack, you know, we're only opening, what, 96 packs? No, 24, 48, yeah, 96 packs um, with this booster case. So we shouldn't pull too many duplicates of those. First rare is a Prince Charming, Heir to the Throne. Then we got a super rare, the queen, commanding presence, and a foil panic. All right, let's.
let's keep going. I want to see some more of the legendaries. I, I like I said, I, I kind of avoided the uh, spoilers for this set. I um, gruesome and grim is our first rare. Cobra bubbles is our next, and a rare Lucifer. Cool card. I kind of avoided um, all the spoilers. I have seen all the enchanted and stuff like that, but I mean the. Uh, spoilers as the set was releasing and all the deep dives of the cards and the, the teasers and stuff like that um did not see those so a lot of these are new to me and if you've watched any of my pokemon videos you know that as i open those i kind of just like to open things fast sort them and then spend my time looking at the set when i'm doing the binder but um falling down the rabbit hole is our first rare we got a super rare the queen disguised peddler nice and just a foil croquet mallet good art though So let's see if we can pull an Enchanted Beast out of the Beast Pack. Am I doing that? Bending all the cards? Or are they just bent? I'll have to check how I open it next time. Ah, nice. <laughs> Been waiting to pull this. Uh, that's just incredible art. Um, I, I, I'm glad they made it, I guess, a common. So everybody can get it. But man, that's such a cool card. <laughs> I wish it wasn't Enchanted. Uh, Judy Hops, Raya, and Jafar. Great card. First rare slot is a Dinner Bell. We have Chief Bogo. And a rare... Oh, nice. Double up. So here's a good opportunity to compare the regular and the foil version of a card. Not much difference. <laughs> um, but, you know. It just comes with the territory of the cold foiling process, I think. The enchanted, the enchanted cards have a nice uh, sheen to them, so. Yeah, so I guess it is how I'm opening. I need to be more careful. So Tigger, one of a kind, Donald Duck, Sleepwalker, Owl, Hold Still, Fairy Godmother, Charge, Sardine Can, Mother Gothel, The Prince. First rare slot is Radigan's Marvelous Trap. Second is World's Greatest Criminal Mind, so we double up on the Radigan. And a foil basil. So we are pulling all the great mouse detective cards. These packs are certainly opening easier than some of the ones in the first chapter. So let me know, you know, down below if you guys were able to get any product. Um, I know it is still probably a pretty rare thing to find. Lucifer is our first rare. We got a super rare Cogsworth, so I think this is a good one to have. Nice. But we do need it, so it'll be duplicates that we look for later. James is our first, or is our foil. So again, everything we pull now, like I said, especially in the higher rarities, we are just going to need to higher, so we're not going to focus too much on value until we start pulling for uh, trade bait, things like that. Uh, you know, in the first chapter, that's a cool card, I was able to um, basically trade the value of a booster box and all the duplicates inside of it for some of the enchanted, so we'll see if that, uh, if that holds true for this set as well. Honest John, not that honest, is our first rare. Hercules, Divine Hero, is our next. And a Peter Pan's Dagger is our foil. Alright. Am I seeing the code card or am I seeing an enchanted back there? I need to start removing the code card. What did you call me? Gaston, Rabbit. Sneezy, Jiminy Cricket, Prince Naveen, Daisy Duck, Launch, Fairy Godmother, and we have Winnie the Pooh as our first rare, Super Rare Namari, and a Rare Dinner Bell as our foil. What do we got back here? Three, six, nine packs left. So, Minnie Mouse zipping around. 
So see, still seeing, uh, still finding some cards we haven't seen before. But I believe they have it pretty well spaced out on these booster boxes where, like, as you open them up, you should get, you know, most of the commons and maybe most of the uncommons too. Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo is our first rare. Our next legendary is Scar Vicious, Vicious, the Vicious Cheater. Nice. And an uncommon Mother Gothel is our foil. So again, I think value-wise, the Scar is a good one to pull. Uh, I'm sure all of that is in flux right now. So we got eight packs left. And we should have one more legendary to pull from it and or uh, enchanted. And maybe we'll get lucky with a foil legendary as well. So here's a good opportunity for something. So we've got Arthur, Wizard's Apprentice, as a super rare, and it's in our first rare slot. So that means the next rare slot or the next rare card has to be at least that rare value or higher. So it's a legendary. And so we got Fairy Godmother as our fourth legendary and Prince Naveen as our foil. So we have two, four, six, seven packs left. Should we open them? Probably not. I could probably trade empty packs towards some good cards, but we're opening stuff for the master set. We're not worried too much about that. Man, I bent this card. I gotta be more careful with that. <laughs> Funny card. Merlin is a crab. All right, first rare slot is the Sorcerer Spellbook. Next is Tuck Tuck. And we have a foil Rapunzel. That's a cool card. I haven't seen that before. So we'll build the binder. We will uh, do a little montage and flip through of that to see how far you get with one booster box. Um, we're going to get a lot of the base cards, but not too many of the foils for sure. Christopher Robin is our first rare. A hey, super rare Cinderella. Cool. That looks pretty good. Um, don't know value-wise if it is, but at my first glance, that looks to be a pretty playable card. And then we have a Flynn Rider as our foil. So the good thing about being able to get a case or whatever product we were able to get this early uh, this time around is that, um, you know, we have time to prepare for the wide release on December 1st. So. We have Noi as our first rare, Madame Mim as our next, and an Uncommon Nana uh, foil. So we have a little time to prepare for December 1st. Um, if you are watching this like on release week, uh, I believe the Robinsberger website is going to be opening up their orders, basically pre-orders, for... Rise of the Floodborne, uh, I want to say on the 20th, so maybe Monday at like 10 Eastern. I think the queue opens at 9 Eastern. I could have that wrong, so make sure to double check it on their website. Goofy night for a day. I've been looking for this card. That's awesome. <laughs> I love it. Nine cost, quest for four, super strong. Again, don't know if it's playable, but, uh, you know, looks cool to me. The art's good and all the numbers are high. Heck yeah. <laughs> Next rare is a Cheshire Cat from the Shadows. Super rare. Good card. And a Ring the Bell foil. So, you know, we can better plan our strategy around completing the Master Set when things release on December 1st. And like I said, we might uh, also plan to set some alarms, whatever, try to get in the queue and get lucky for the, uh, for the Robinsberger website release. And then I think on December 1st, you know, the Shop Disney website will release stuff. Okay, so we got Beast, Selfless Protector as a super rare in our first slot. So this next one should be a super rare as well, since I think we burned all of our legendaries. Yep. And Yzma, Scary Beyond All Reason. And a common Dr. Facilier as our foil. 
two packs left. So we'll see what we can get at MSRP prices from, you know, those public releases of product, Tigger one of a kind, um, and have a better shot of, you know, getting more this time around than we did last time around. So Dragon Gem is our first rare, Lady Tremaine, Imperious Queen is our super rare slot, and we got a super rare foil, the Queen Commanding Presence, nice. Always good to get a super rare foil out of the way. And last pack. Let's see if we can beat the odds and randomly get another uh, randomly get another legendary or something like that. Maybe a foil legendary. Alright, our first rare slot is Maurice's Workshop. Merlin Shapeshifter. And our foil is a rare dragon gem. Nice. So, hit-wise, we got Fairy Godmother, Scar, Sisu, and Snow White. So, is I'm not sure if this is the regular version of what the Enchanted is. Maybe. I don't know, as far as the card goes, but I want that Enchanted. <laughs> um, Scar, I'm never going to say no to any Lion King card. That's awesome. So, happy to have finished our first box. Now let's uh, let's go dig through this big stack of bulk here, including our foil cards, and sort the binder. That was a lot of sorting, so that's about an hour and a half worth of work for just a couple of quick minutes of video. But um, as you can see, we got most of what we would need for um, a full set or whatever. So if you are somebody who just wants to collect the base card, not all the foils, not all the enchanteds, etc., just, you know, one of each of the 204 cards, um, honestly, one booster box is enough. Just go buy singles after that. Uh, you know, you might get lucky, pull some of the more expensive, expensive legendaries and not have to worry about uh, a ton of uh, extra single cost. And certainly not, you know, the expensive booster box prices as they are right now. But through the rest of our three, I suspect we will pull a lot of what we need. Obviously, as you can see, we need a ton of um, foil cards left, but... We will see how many of those we can pull from this and all the other product we got. And we'll start filling out this binder a little bit more. If you made it to the end of the video, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to uh, enter the giveaway for the starter deck. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.